preliminary legs and then finished third in the final. The Trotters are on the track for today's sixth race at Pocono. One Tricky Dick, owned and trained by Jim McGettigan, driver Mike Simons. Two Keppeldor, owned by Frank Ketty, Duran, and Gracia, trainer Frank and Gracia, driver Jack Wood and Gracia. Three Come On Over, Hanover, owned by Stephen Mullen, trainer Clifton Green, driver Matt Kakali. Four Juju B, owned by John Erdner, trainer Greg Wright Jr., driver Tony Hall. Five Capstone, owned by Ocas Fonstead Incorporated Stable Why Not, trainer and driver Ocas Fonstead. Six Mr. Boinga, owned by Bernard O'Brien, trainer Jill Rowland, driver Jason Bartlett. No changes race six, less than a minute until post. For today's sixth race at Pocono, first division of three today for the Pennsylvania Sire Stakes, first $49,770. And around the turn, they go. The Trotters have reached the back stretch. And they are. Underway, Capstone on the outside, early speed, grabs the lead, Juju B in behind him on the inside, the pylons, Keffeldor away well in third, that's two and a half back to Mr. Boinga in fourth, he'll take a tuck in front of Tricky Dick, the early trailer, come on over, Hanover is now 10 off the pace, and briefly there were three across battling, Capstone still a slight lead, but Juju B not relenting easily there, and Keffeldor right in behind the top two. The field of six quickly around the turn to the quarter mile marker in 28 and one fifth. It's Capstone, had to work for it, but there he is on the engine for Ocas Fonstead. The one to two favorite, Juju B, made Capstone work for it. Tony Hall now content to sit into the pocket as they come through the front stretch. Keffeldor is third there for Jackie and Gracia, followed by Mr. Boinga. Tricky Dick, fifth, about seven off the pace, and the early trailer here is, is uh, come on over Hanover, and he's about eight and a half away. Lead belongs to Capstone, who reaches the half-mile marker in 58 and one, 30 even second panel. So these are comfortable fractions here. Capstone will try to take advantage of those, up by a length, and Svonstad not lifting a finger. Juju B in the pocket behind him, and now Capstone stretching the lead slightly. Keppeldor is third, still nothing materializing on the outside. Mr. Boinga fourth is now six away. A gap to Tricky Dick and the trailer come on over Hanover. Capstone, the lead out to a length and a half. Juju B staying close enough to threaten but not advancing yet. They hit the three-quarter mile marker in 127-1. It's a 29 even third panel. Middle portion was soft. Capstone by a length and a half over Juju B. It's Keppeldor still saving ground third. Mr. Boinga tips to the outside fourth, six away. Top of the stretch, Kef it's a Capstone looking to trot out the clock, now leads by two. Juju B second, but rallying. Capstone, Juju B with momentum. Capstone trying to hold on. Juju B sweeps right past for Tony Hall. Gets the win by three parts of a length. Capstone second, well back to Keffeldor third, and Tricky Dick fourth. Juju B on top is the favorite in 154 and four fifths. Well, with those fractions, you knew it was going to be an all-out sprint. And Capstone, even though he sets off to finish sixth, for Juju B, the race winner, five Capstone finished second, and six Mr. Boingo is fifth. Top down, four, three, six, one, two, five. Also at four to five is number six, Captain Corey. You don't see that too often. A pair of horses at odds on in a six-horse race here. Captain Corey, Ocas Fonstead, trainer, driver. Big a year as a two-year-old. He won the first five-star... The Trotters are on the track for today's eighth race at Pocono. One Arnold and Dickey, owned by Sylvester, Stoltzfus, and Goldman. Trainer Chuck Sylvester, driver Dexter Dunn. 
250 Ways, owned by George Antina Dennis Racing, trainer Joe Colombo, driver Todd McCarthy. Three Top Me Off, owned by Todd and Christine Shadle, Richard and Regina Beinhauer, trainer Todd Shadle, driver Andy Miller. Four La Panto, owned by Asa Lattinen and Arvo Risto Italo Yussi Halitadi, trainer Okas Fonstadt, driver Yannick Jingra. Five Robbie Pev, owned by Bernard O'Brien, trainer Jill Rowland, driver Jason Bartlett. And six, Captain Corey, owned by SRF Stable, Newtson Trotting, Midnight Sun Partners, and Okus Fonstead, trainer driver Okus Fonstead. No changes in the eighth. And around the turn, there you go. The Trotters have reached the back stretch, and they are. Underway, Lepanto, center of the track, flashing early foot. So too is Captain Corey on the outside. Captain Corey surging on the outside to take that lead from Lepanto. Away third there is 50 ways, followed by Arnold and Dickey, fourth past the eighth mile marker. Next up then is Robbie Pev. Top me off at the back of the pack is now nine off the lead in this uh, field of six. It's Captain Corey on top, leading it by a length and a half as they're all flat around the turn. They reach the quarter mile marker now in uh, 20. 28 and four fifths. It's Captain Corey, first start of the year, accomplished two year old. Okus von Stett cutting him loose now. The lead is out to three and a half of the one to five favorite. His stablemate Lepanto is second, although not too close at the moment. Third on the inside is 50 ways, then two back to Arnold and Dickey. He's fourth heading around the turn for Dunn, still seven off the pace. After that, you have Robbie Pev fifth, and Top Me Off is the trailer. It's a three-and-a-half length lead for Captain Corey. Hits the half mile, 57-4, and four, 29 even second panel. On to the back stretch, Captain Corey extending that lead. Now it's out to six lengths. Lepanto second, but not advancing. Followed there by 50 ways on the outside. Top me off, moves first over for Andy Miller. Following that cover, Robbie Pev and Arnold and Dickey still at the back of the pack. Five horses in a bunch and one all alone in front. Captain Corey by near double digits now. Hits three quarters, 126 even, 28-1, third panel. As it's Captain Corey, going to be very tough to catch here. Lepanto second, not threatening. Three wide move from Robbie Pev going around. Top me off. At the top of the stretch, and Captain Corey, the only one you see here, lead is near 12 lengths. Lepanto holding on to second on the outside. Robbie Pev, Arnold, and Dickey closing, but they could race to the 12th of never. They would net catch Captain Corey rolling here for the victory by 12. Lepanto did hold on for second, followed by 50 ways third, and Robbie Pev fourth. Captain Corey, boy, he was ready for his first start of the year, you think? 153 and four fifths. And it seemed like it was an effortless mile for Captain. range way back and probably too far back to get in the mix here. Delayed Hanover leads it and looks like Type A wants to pull there. In behind him also outside Johan Palima. Quarter mile reached in 27 and 4. It's Delayed Hanover holding down that lead. Type A going to try again on the outside to get to the front for Yannick Jingra and uh, Delayed Hanover not going to make it easy here. Two and a half back to third and Johan Palima. Another length there to Ethan E. Hanover in fourth. Single file it goes to Whiskey Blue then take all comers, and again, it's in range last. That's the one to five favorite, breaking some hearts here this afternoon. Wasn't easy, but Type A got to the lead. The half mile reached in 56 even, 28 and 1, second panel. 
to the back stretch. Type A leads the way for Yannick Jingra. Right in behind a laid hand over. Johan Palima saving ground on the outside. Here comes Whiskey Blue with Dan Charlino. Picking off horses one by one. Taking aim at the leader and take all comers. Found that live cover. Ethan T. Hanover is sixth and again in range too far back today. It's still a slight lead for Type A on the outside. Whiskey Blue inching up. They come to three quarters now in 124 and 4. 28 and 4 third panel. And Type A kicks out to a lead of a length and a quarter now as Whiskey Blue fades, but delayed Hanover is a threat. He steps to the outside, and it's a garden trip for Johan Palima at the pylons. Top of the stretch, Type A. Facing down, delayed Hanover on the outside. Johan Palima on the inside. Johan Palima and delayed Hanover. The stablemates going at it. It's delayed Hanover. Johan Palima at the line. A photo finish between the two Svonstedt trainees. Too close to call between Johan Palima and delayed Hanover. Wait for the picture. The mile 153 even. It's going to be awkward when they get back. Eight Hanover step to the outside. Both of them going past type A. And let's see on the replay if we can see any separation here. Oof, that is very, very close. Let's wait for the photo. Type A finished third. Number two, Ethan T. Hanover finished fourth. Unofficially four, six, five, two in race number 10. The unofficial winner of today's 10th race by Hanover Shoe Farms Incorporated of Pennsylvania by Melby Guard Incorporated, Delray Beach, Florida. Okus Fonstead Incorporated, Wrightstown, New Jersey. Okus Fonstead, trainer and driver. He gets a training driving double here in the Sire Stakes. Also won with Captain Corey. And delayed Hanover was 17-1. to 1. It was his first start this year and comes out a winner with the pocket trip. It's his second lifetime win. Career earnings taking a jump now over $161,000. He trots the mile 153 even, which is... Results of race number 10 are official. The rundown, number one, Whiskey Blue finished sixth. Two, Ethan T. Hanover was fourth. Number three, in range, finished seventh. Four, delayed Hanover, the race winner. Number five, Type A finished third. Six, Johan Palima was second. And seven, take all comers, finished fifth. Top down.